Hi, Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. Um, I would like to demonstrate some of the differences between the Motorcraft 2100 and 2150 carburetors. Um, the question comes up all the time is how do you tell a difference? A lot of times uh, people get mixed up. They call 2100s, uh, 2100, uh, 2150s, 2100 sometimes and vice versa. So here's, here's just a few tips in case you're out looking for a used carburetor or something or you just need to know for whatever reason. Um, this one right here is a 2100 and this one's a 2150. So one of the quickest ways to tell is if the back is straight across like this, that's a 2150 and you see on this 2100 how it's more of like a V-shaped or a Y shape on the back. Okay, so that's one way to tell. Uh, another way is almost generally the 2150 will have a uh, something like this hanging on it. This is a uh, choke pull off and you can see the 2100 doesn't have one. Now there's a few 2100s that will have one mounted on the top here uh, and, and then they cross the border sometimes as a 2150 so be careful with that one but if you got a lot of stuff hanging on the outside like this uh, chances are it's a 2150. Uh, another thing I might point out here is uh, a lot of the 2150s have a two-stage power valve where all of the 2100s have a one-stage. You can see the difference in the uh, size of the cover. This is the 2100 here and this is a 2150. Uh, be careful with that one too because people have been known to uh, stick this two-stage on the 2100 and then somehow they find a uh, deeper uh, cover to put on it, okay? But in general, that's it. So there are some of the things you can look for. Uh, the 2150s had a lot of things added onto it, uh, starting in, uh, I think, 73. Uh, that's when the 2100 t started to transform because of all the extra pollution laws we got. Uh, so they had to start building them different uh, uh, such as the choke pull off and things like that. All right, so I hope that helps you a little bit uh, just to uh, try and figure out what the difference is in the two carburetors. So if you're out looking for a carburetor swap meet or something, um, you can usually identify them real easy by, by those features. All right, well, th I appreciate you watching. Thank you.